Hi, this is Sarah Henry from Student Accessibility Services at the University of Maine, and today I'm going to do a screencast of how to use Sonison Audio Note Taker. I'm going to go ahead and open up the program. It's this blue icon here with the microphone. And when you open it, it comes to this home screen. So I am going to start a blank project, which opens up in a new tab right here. You just hit record, and then you'll see over here the recording is happening. It shows you this blue bar that shows that information is being picked up by the audio on your computer and recorded into Sonison. The default color for those blue bars is that light blue. Here's a few things I love about this program. If your professor uses PowerPoint, you can hit the return key on your keyboard and start a new section so that your recording lines up with the slides that your professor is showing. You can also just hit this section button and it will do the same thing here. I think using a keyboard is really convenient though. You also have these options over here to change the color of that bar depending upon what you're hearing and what you need to tag about it. So these are the default colors over here and it's got some options. You can also create your own color key for it. Let's try the lecture one. Okay, so here's the lecture key. You can see important is this dark color and these respond to your number keys on your keypad. So if you're in class and all of a sudden you realize, okay, this is really important. I need to make sure when I'm reviewing the slides, I go back and listen to that portion of it. Or if your professor says something like, this will be on the test. Make sure that you do something like that to code it. It's pretty quick and it's easy. Um, or if you don't, if you, so if you hit the key again, it goes back to the default color. All right. Uh, let's say that you forget you're in class or you don't want to worry about having to put those section breaks in. One of the things that, another thing that I like about Sonocent is that afterwards you can go and separate the recording. So I've used this at workshops and conferences, for example, and I just let it run in the background. And uh, then later on, as I'm reviewing it, so let's say maybe a section break might have been here, depending upon the topic and what the speaker was talking about, you can go ahead and you can do this afterwards. Um, just make sure you put your cursor back at the box where it is so that it's the end, so that if you decide you're ready and you want to go ahead and do this, you can um, hit return again easily. Okay, another few features about this program that I really like. I'm going to stop the recording for now. If your professor uses slides or you have images that you want to import, like an image of the board, um, let me import some slides here. They have some sample slides that come with the program and a tutorial that comes in the program that you can play with. Um, it's a really robust tutorial, which is really nice. So these sample slides are try time travel for beginners. And what you'll see is that when the slides get imported, it aligns very nicely with those section breaks that we have. So I've gone ahead and hit record again. And if you do use the keyboard to take notes, you can type in the box here. A good tip, if you're typing and you want to, um, your, your cursor is now in the text box. It's not in the audio box. So if you hit return, So I'm going to type in, remember to put the cursor back in the audio box. Because if you hit return, you're in the textbook, it goes there. It's not going to give you those section breaks. So if your professor gives you the slides ahead of time, you can import them and you can line the, the section breaks up right alongside the slides. Or if it's afterwards you and you've created the breaks, it'll line up. If you haven't created the breaks, um, again, you can go and you can do that afterwards. 
wherever you put your cursor. If you're listening and you realize, oh, this is really important, you can change these chunk colors afterwards. So it's really quite a very flexible tool. Um, other things that you can do with Sonocent are that if whole sections of this, so like let's say that you've got three slides that you know are going to be really important, you can, or you want to research further, or it's a core topic, you can create a whole section color. So that makes the whole block this color here. And those are the basics of how to use Sonocent Note Taker. So it's given it a default title here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to retitle it Sarah's Demonstration of How to Use Sonocent. And it's helpful in storing recordings to give it information. Um, this was part of a screencast. And the speaker is me. And it automatically populates the date. So that when you're going back to find your recordings, you have them um, stored in a way that's very easy for you to use. It has lots of other tools in here as well. And so I encourage you to go ahead and explore and use it. As I said, there is a tutorial in the program itself. And then there's lots of other resources. They do have a YouTube channel. So if you click on resources, it will actually connect you to their YouTube channel with resources about how to use the program, which is really convenient in the support hub. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and thanks so much for listening. Remember, this is Student Accessibility Services at the University of Maine. This is Sarah Henry, and you are always able to talk to the person who you've been working with in our office or any of our staff can tell you more about Audio Note Taker. Thanks very much.